Hi, my name is Mike Arbogast. I'm with Fisherman's Warehouse in Rockland. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of fishing on the coastline that not a lot of people like to do. I mean, it's for rockfish. And the thing I like about rock fishing is that it's easy, number one, it's cheap, number two, and then number three, you don't have to worry about the season because it's all season long compared to the boats that have to go to certain depths. So the old school method of rock fishing, which I like, I tend to do, is with a sandbag because the weights, you can always just get sand in a bucket and fill it up. And these things, are, we sell these things right here at Fisherman's Warehouse, so we, we do that quite a bit. This is a size two hook. I usually have braid with some kind of Alberto knot. And then I usually, and this is usually 65 pound, and then I work it down to like a 30 pound leader here. I usually have it about two feet off the ground here, and then it goes six inches above the weight. That's the setup for if you're working down around the rocks along the coastline of California. Now you're gonna snag a lot, and that's the reason why I use sandbags. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's more ecological. That's one setup. That's what I call the old school setup. The new school setup is, is this. People don't like to get snags, so they actually use a bobber underneath this. This is a, probably a 10-foot surf rod. We sell this at the store, you know, and it's called a beef stick. They're pretty reasonable price. You have a pen on here, a Battle II or a 5,000 size, real. We have them also an, an eliminator if you want something a little bit cheaper. We're using 65-pound braid again. And then what we do is have, you know, a size 2 hook. You know, just an octopus hook on a set of 30 pound leader. Then we have a, what they call a, uh, you know, an egg sinker down here at the bottom. And it's usually about an ounce, since this is a, they label these as an ounce, one ounce uh, float. So you have a one ounce sinker to balance it off. And then you can adjust the depth with one of these. It's for a slip weight. So it, you use these little slip weight knots and you can adjust these to how far, then you tighten them down and then you cut the ends and burn them and it will stay at your depth so if, if you want to fish which normally off off the coastline of california and like you know somewhere maybe gualala if you're used to that or fort ross or fort bragg and you're fishing off of those kind of things i adjust this usually between 12 and 15 to 20 feet depending on how far i'm throwing off the shore and you won't get snagged and then i'm usually tipping this thing with mussels from the rock you cut the mussel open it up use the lips on the side put this up and careful because they will get bit very 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 quickly and you will lose a lot of bait like that <laughs> so if not i put to keep some bait on the line i tend to put the muscle and run it up the line a little bit first and then put a little bit of squid that you can purchase and and put a little teeny strip of squid down here and the rockfish will go crazy for it there's another option if you want. If you're a swim bait fisherman, like a bass fisherman, you might want to use like the 3.8 white. It's kind of like a white swim bait. Or what I like is the AYU and the 4.8. You can bounce these along the bottom and uh, it really will grab a lot of fish's attention and you will definitely feel it on a spinning rig. So if you have some kind of a spinning rig like, like such as this, we sell that Rockaway, which is a really cheap cheap rod around here but very very constructed very nice and then an eliminator which is also very cheap if you're budget minded i try and keep them kind of cheap simply because these things are rock fishing you're going to bang them all up and down on the rocks and then here i use the flat shad which is in three eighths or the but we have the fish head also these jig heads were great on these swing impact lures right in here you can see one's even missing here <laughs> <laughs> so there there it is and those things work great for bouncing off the bottom and going through and being systematic about bringing that lure in from an, a nice long cast to bring, bringing in rockfish tell me some of the species you get you will get definitely you will get blue rockfish you'll get black rockfish you'll get kelp greenling and if you bounce it along the bottom and are consistent with up and down off the rocks you're going to get snagged a little bit, but if you do that, you will get pretty good sized lingcod and cabazon too. So it depends on how brave you are in losing your gear. <laughs> to how much, you know, the more you will risk, the more risk you will get big. More fish risk, too. more reward. More risk, more reward. So that's just an easier way to catch some fish. And I think everybody kind of likes fish and chips. And that's, that's what you're going to be using it for. <laughs>
Awesome. So maybe you should try this kind of technique later on in your in your in your worries when you're going up and down the coast. Have a rod ready and have some fun. <laughs> Thank you very much.